What's up guys, it's John with the EMT Made Easy. Today I am going over the five rights for medication, so for your meds. Uh, before you give any medication to your patient, you want to make sure that these five rights are met. Alright, so first off, name is the medication for your patient. You want to make sure and get the medication look at the label is this the right the right medication for the patient all right so is this the is their name on the medication if it's not you can't give it to them okay simple as that next the medication itself is it the correct medication for the symptoms for what's going on with your patient so what i mean by that is that if your patient has a uh, wheezing throughout the lungs nitroglycerin is not going to help them out right because nitroglycerin is for vasodilation not for bronchodilation. Next, the dosage. You want to make sure you're giving the right dose. You don't want to give too many pills. You, you don't want to give too many sprays. You don't want to give too many of anything. So dosage. So not overdosing. There you go. That's why this matters right here. Next, time. Now this can go one of two ways. Uh, you want to make sure that there's been enough time in between. So from when they last took it, last took it to now, you want to make sure that there's been enough time in between. So medications are given um, only within a certain amount of time, okay? Uh, so you want to watch out for that. Also, you want to document the time. So just go ahead and document when you gave the medication. Two things to watch out for here, all right? And then the route. So medications are given orally, meaning that they can swallow the medication, the, the fluid, the pill, or some are given sub, sublingually, meaning that they're given under the tongue. Nitroglycerin is a good example of that. It's given under the tongue. So route. Is it going to go? That's a tongue. Let's see if I can do this. That's a mouth. So is it sublingual? So sublingual? Or is it orally going down the actual mouth, esophagus, trachea, epiglottis right there? All right, or is it, or is it orally? Um, and these are your five rights, guys. Not not much going on here. You just want to make sure it's for the right patient. So make sure the name's on there, the right medication for the right symptoms, the right illness, the dose. You don't want to overdose them or underdose them. Make sure you're not giving too much or too little. Time. Make sure that there's enough time in between each dosage. That's uh, the recommendation. Whatever's recommended for that for that medication, and then you want to document the time when it was given. All right. That's gonna help uh, uh, allied health, the doctors, the nurses down the road to track stuff. And then the route. How is it given? Sublingually? Uh, is it inhaled like a, a butyrol, or is it swallowed? Any kind of oral pill? And that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully this helps you out. Hold up. Let's get this in there. What? All right. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.